Shut Ladies up, and gentlemen, money. boys and girls, welcome back. The Earth Child, nice even number bucks. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for the support. I love you guys. I'm going to take this Pissara the Dreadful because she is bonkers. Death Reap Ritual is also pretty good. At the beginning of each turn, if your creature died, you may draw a card. It's kind of like a it's kind of like a Phyrexian Arena, kind of. Because it's the it's beginning of each end step, so it counts on your opponent's turn as well if they lost a the guy. But I can't imagine that it's better than Vasara the Dreadful, so we're going to take that. Also worth noting, we're doing a Vintage Masters draft. Vintage oh. <clears throat> Masters is the format. I don't think Taiga is worth anything, guys. But I'm going to check real quick because I, I can't be, like, passing Taigas if they're worth, like, 15 tickets or something. It is worth a friggin' dollar. Jesus. That's the saddest shit I've ever seen. Oh, Tyga, you came and you weren't worth anything. And that's real sad that you're worth. It's like 37 cents. Good lord. Good lord. Do I just want Counterspell here? I mean, triple triple black for Vasara plus double blue for Counterspell seems rough. How do you feel about Bethesda Nolar contained with Elder Scrolls? I feel bad about it, but I can't... Like, it makes sense. Wow, Plateau? Get past two dual lands that are worth nothing? This is worth 30 cents? Um, Yeah, it sucks. I really love Elder Scrolls Legends. Elder Scrolls Legends was one of my favorite card games... Um, my favorite digital card games. Like, I actually thought the game was fantastic. And I think if Elder Scrolls Legends came along before Hearthstone did, I don't think it would have been close. Like, I think it would have just... I, I think the, the mechanics were great. <sighs> yeah, it was a really good game. I thought it was great. Um, but, like, it's really hard to break into the collectible card game market because things like Yu-Gi-Oh! Magic and, and Hearthstone are, have such an enfranchised player base... That it's really hard to commit to playing like multiple card games for anyone, right? So those people either have to stop playing. Oh, Scrivener seems good here. I like a Scrivener. Saprolling Burst is terrifying. I want to take Scrivener. Edric. Ben, never, never forget the erection. I think it's Wild Mong. Oh, I think it's Edric. Or it could just be Ophidian. Edric is really good, but we're kind of putting this on, on and on hold. I'm gonna take Ophidian. I'm gonna stay this course. I think Vasar is good enough to to stick to the to the course. Um, I, I agree that I think Elder Scrolls Legends is a better game than Hearthstone. I think it's, that might be controversial. I think it has more depth. Icarid. Do I care about an Icarid? I don't think so. Sky Shroud Forest could be interesting if we want to play like... If like the Edward comes back. Or if we like just go into the, the green. Yeah, we'll just take the Sky Shroud Forest. Ooh, Circular Logic is nice. So is Cloud Djinn, Cloud Djinn, but I don't think it's Cloud Djinn. It might actually be Nightscape Familiar. We don't actually have that many enablers for Circular Logic. I kind of like Nightscape Familiar here. Okay, Aqua Mewa seems good. Fire Blast is also very good. Another Ophidian, also a Death Reap Ritual. That's interesting. I want to take Mono Ophidians here. Hmm. Fine Barons. Okay. They really want us to play that green.
Penumbra Worm. Eh, we'll just take Skywing Haven. Brainstorm is fine, even though we're never going to, uh... Well, I guess we can get, like, a bad river or something. Temporal Fissure. Unfortunately, as you may have noticed, your boy did not come back. Edric, nor your other boy. Yogmoss will. I don't think that's worth anything for sure. Oh, it's worth a dollar. Huh. Huh. It's pretty good. I could just play Death Reap Ritual and play it off of like Pine Bear and Sky Shard Forest. Is it good here? We have like two spells. Oh, I guess it is cards, so I guess we could play like replay all our shitty guys, but I don't know. It doesn't seem. I'm not sold on it. You can play any cards. They have lifelink, Benjamin. I'm tempted to take Death Reap Ritual and just splash it. Yeah, we'll take Ritual and see what happens. Dax Duplicant. Repel. I wish Repel drew you a card. Gush. Root Walla. What can we, we can do with Root Walla? We've got Frantic Search and Aquamoeba and Putrid Imp. Hmm. Might just be Root Walla. We, maybe we're just on our way to... To a Madness deck. Palancron. I think it's got to be Palancron, right? 4 or 5 Flyer that just is free. I mean, Chainer's Edict is cool too, but Palancron. With enough Nightscape familiars, this dude's free. Curse Scroll, Vizardrix. Chainer's Edict is probably the pick, right? Oh, another Wizard Rix, jeez. Oh, Mana War? For sure it's Mana War. Deep Analysis is great, but I'd rather have a Mana War. Mesmeric Fiend? I like Dothy Mercenary, it's just a win condition. What is this? It's 3-3 three, three for 5 with flying. Remove a counter to make a Thopter. You can turn it into two other Thopters and then put the counters back on. So for 2 mana, you can like make a guy block, put a counter back on. It's actually not terrible. Yeah, I think that's fine. Oh, him to Torok? Wow, that seems powerful. I mean, it is. Is it only sorcery speed? Oh, for crying out loud. That's much worse. Thank you for pointing that out. Is it double black him to Torok or deep analysis? Him is great, but I think deep analysis is better at other points in the game. I don't know. I still think we can probably get another deep analysis. So I'm just going to take the him here. Mountain Valley. Blazing Spectre is cool. I think we're just taking Aquamiba. We're playing a lot of 1-3s here. <laughs> another Pine Barrens. Keen Eye Aven. I mean, three Pine Barrens is decent for this. Yeah, I'll just take the Pine Barrens. Eh, Repel is okay. I don't foresee us playing a second Avon. I could see us playing a second Scrivener. Mm, Skirk Familiar is whatever. Mesmeric Fiend. I, I could see you actually making the cut. I think three tap land is definitely the most you can recently play, but they're all... They're all on color to land. They all help us cast Death Reap Ritual, which is the important part. But I agree with you.
Demonic Tutor. Ooh, let's take that. That's worth a whole shiny nickel. It's worth like a dollar, but that's not really the point. The point is that it's a demonic tutor. I would like expunge or counterspell to come back, but we'll take the tutor. Is that better than counterspell? Yeah, probably. Because you being able to search up a Vasara is, is pretty nuts. Or like you can just search up Scrivener, get back demonic tutor. Keldon Necropolis. Ooh, that's pretty good. It's not that good. I do like another Nightscape familiar though. Phyrexian Defiler, Sagat Negative 3, Negative 3. That's fine. I think Nightscape's probably better, especially with double Scriveners. Oh, Suchi. Four, three, four, 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 four is decent. This used to be a drawback because it would, you know, it would be used to die in combat and then you'd take four damage from mana burn. Um, but now it's like without mana burn, it's just a four, 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 four that adds some mana during your combat step, most likely. Uh, Predatory Night Stalker is pretty cool. You may have a target opponent sacrifice a creature. Um,. We already have a spinal graft in the sideboard. If we did have like a way to target things, like a like a prodigal sorcerer or something, I could actually see taking it. Yeah, I think it is Night Stalker. I'm not super sold on this. Oh, Factor Fiction and Waterfront Bouncer. Jeez. I mean, we're definitely taking Factor Fiction here, especially with Double Scrivener. I do like a power sink, especially with double Scrivener. And the only other option is really like Owl Familiar. I'm not going to take a third Narco Amoeba. Yeah, power sink seems good. I don't think we want a third Ophidian. Crescendo of War is interesting. Crescendo of War is actually pretty good. Famine. Deals three damage to each creature and each player. Another Mana War. Another Krovican Sorcerer. I think we're just taking Mana War. Two Mana Wars is better than one for sure. Another Fire Blast. How do you learn how to draft? Um, I mean, it, my answer is going to sound as silly as your question. I think it's like just literally repetition. Just literally practice. The more you draft, the more you figure out what does and doesn't work. Like, if you draft a card like Thopter Squadron and you find out you play it and it doesn't do anything and you're like wow this card was not good at all it had no impact on the game um then next time you're not going to draft it right like so you get to a point where like if you're aware enough you have to be aware during the games you have to you really be aware of like what the cards are doing how they're affecting the games wow this this pack is insane <laughs> blastoderm realm seekers brindle shoat I guess we'll just take Killer Ware because Killer. I mean, I guess I guess we could splash one of these cards, but I don't think any of them are really worth splashing. None of the cards we wanted came back, unfortunately. Temporal Fissure number two. I'll just take Death's Head Buzzard number two. Death Head's, bu Death, Death's Head Buzzard is actually very good against the uh, the Goblin decks. Oh, Krovican Sorcerer came back. All right, our deck doesn't look terrible. Just take this guy. Big moment trying the new taco place that opened just down the street from me for the first time. Nice. I don't think we need Frantic Search. I don't love Frantic Search when we don't have any cards to, to really profit off of it. Um, I think we can take out Thopter Squadron. I feel like it's actually just worse than Killer Ware, especially with two Nightscape Familiars. And we could even just cut Death Reap Ritual. Although we have a lot of creatures. It is a May ability. I think we just play it.
We need one cut. I think it's probably one Aquamiba. And I think we can even get away with playing one Forest. And then this leaves us with uh, eight, no, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, and then one. So this is eight, eight, one. Yeah, eight, eight, one seems great. All right, let's see what this deck can do. Um, yeah, I'll keep the sand. Mike the Mailman, anytime. The biggest, the biggest advice I can give for learning how to draft is to be, like I said it before, be aware while you're drafting. A lot of people just draft and they play cards and they're like, well, my opponent's deck won and I'm at deck lost, so, you know, I'll try again. But you're not learning anything. You're not taking anything away. You're not evaluating cards as you play. Being sure you're evaluating cards as you play and having that awareness is super important. Because over the course of a game, you'll have a large enough sample size to be like, okay, so every time I played this card, it was very, very good. Every time that my opponent played this card against me, it was very, very good. Okay, so you have four lands. Two deep analyses. This hand doesn't do anything. It's just literally card draw. I have no idea if that's correct or not. I don't think it matters. Land. I feel like they're just choking tethers here. What did they play? They played an island. Islands in the stream. That is what we are. Being able to play a fit in here seems very, very good. Unless they drew like power sync for one. Baron Moy is gone. A huge percentage of cards I discovered were good was based on how much it sucked when I put them. Yeah, that's, yep, that is definitely a thing. And if your opponent plays a card and you're like, wow, I can't do anything about that. And then like over the course of several games, you're just like, this card beat me multiple times. And you start to realize there might not be many answers to that card in the format. So you're like, oh, that makes this card a lot stronger because there's just fewer ways to deal with it. Well, that's really good that you happen to top deck a white card and a planes to play the white card. Two out of three cards were swords and way to cast swords. That's very good. Yep, one of those is down. And you played the swamp, so... 
All right, so you know two of your six cards. It's totally fine. Oh, we can demo for something. We could actually demonic tutor for counterspell here, and then we have counterspell and power sync, which is pretty good. Yep, that's pretty good. We can demo for a land. That's true. We can. Oh, that's cool. Just get rid of that. I'm gonna close all these. All these pioneer matches are still up. What happened? Are they casting another deep analysis, huh? Targeting themselves? Yeah, that's fine. Um, uh, pass the turn, pass, pass. The oh, that's a good one. If we can get some lands. Nissa did wink at you. That's my desktop. <laughs> That's hilarious. You guys all know what the French people call un unprivileged people. I imagine they call them le poor. Is that is that where we're going with this? Yeah. And you capitalize the P too. Oh jeez. Ivory Tower. None of these cards are... I don't care about any of these cards. Even though Alpha Mayor is like... Pretty decent against this. I want to land so I can play this Night Stalker. Alright, well... Let's see if this resolves. Cliff, no worries at all, buddy. I know. I appreciate it. Are they countering us? No? Yes. Alright, well, we're just going to keep on going. Is there a nine? I guess they gain one. Do, 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 do. Okay. Drawing an island there was actually pretty clutch because now we get to keep both of these up. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, you're a real, you're a real scum apple. I'm going to save a threat. So they got eight cars and they got to discard something. Bird City. 
Have you played Soren Slivers in Modern? I don't even know what that is. I played at the Gigi Brisbane side of anime, three burn players, and an Amulet Titan. Wow. No. Neither. I have not only not played that. I don't even know what that is. Bingo, bango, bongo, I don't want to leave the Congo, I refuse to go. Sure. Soren, Morophon, Slivers. Interesting. What do they say, darling? Gonna want time for two here. Hope you don't have a counter spell. Do, 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 do. Oh, bingo, 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 bingo. Don't counter it. Just let it, let it, let it, let it resolve. Oh, fuck. <sighs> I mean, the problem with, like, risking it is that, like, I don't foresee a situation where they're going to be in worse shape, right? You're either giving them more time to draw those cards... Or you're, you know, assuming that they're going to tap out at a certain point and take down Counterspell. And, like, we can just attack for two, but then they can just easily play, like, like what they did, like, deep analysis and gain three a turn. So, like, we're on their time. They're not on our time right now. We don't have, we don't even have any pressure. No, they don't have to take a risk because they can literally deep analysis into Ivory Tower and just keep seven in hand and then gain three a turn. So, like, we put down them down to four, and then they go to seven. And then we put them down to five, and then they go to eight, you know? So they're going to they're gonna net one life a turn. And that's, like, that's if they don't play anything. Like, they can easily just play something, too, and then yeah, it just break even, which is also just fine. I'm still into buying stuff online, and the Amazon person delivered my package to the wrong house. What do I do? Uh, contact Amazon. Contact Amazon customer service and let them know. And be like, hey, I didn't receive my package. It went to the wrong address. Burn down the house. Oh, that advice was way better than mine. Yeah, well, you know, I tried. Call Bezos and be like, yo, Bezos, it is Wednesday, my dude. Where is my package? <sighs> what? Wow. What is even happening right now? Are you starring out on us? Mean mugger. Katie, my dear. What is going on? Yep, that's what I figured. Cool. Just gonna scoop here. Like, they get to keep seven cards in hand and we're going to six. It's like, Nightscape Familiar is not gonna do it. Okay, well. Well, they had no creatures. None of these cards are any good against them, unfortunately. Just so uh, everyone is keeping count, this is my second Vintage Masters event this go. And uh, this is the fourth blue-black deck 
that we've played against in two events out of four. And uh, the third Storm deck we've played against out of four. So... I mean, Spinograph could be decent if we're putting it on our own guys. God, Mana War is even, like, not that great without them having any creatures. But I can't board it out. Like, that seems terrible. I think Death Reap Ritual can also come out here, I guess. Oh, don't do that. Alright, so we're going to add... Two and two? Yeah, that seems fine. Actually, we'll add one fewer, because we have Visara's triple black, so we want to be able to cast that. Well, we did see, like, Dirtles. We saw, like, the 1-1 um, the one -one Owl. I'm sure they have some number of Nightscape Familiars, so I don't want to, like, take out all the removal. We'll keep this because Sorcerer lets us loot. So does Ophidian. So we're just going to hope that it matters. I mean, I just feel like if you're not drafting Storm in this in this non-cube draft format, then, like, what are you doing with your life? To be fair, I don't think we saw any Tendrils or any Brainstorm, so it's not like it was a, an active choice on our, on our behalf, but... Yep. All right, we're just going to go Ophidian. You know, I didn't. I did not manage to pick up a Cinder Vines, unfortunately. No counter spell, but they have a counter spell. Never don't have it, they didn't have it, so they'll go planes into swords to blushes. Back into Exu, my guy. Expunge, my guy. He's gonna get. Oh, okay. Did we just get a hit? That's pretty cool. Well. happening right now you're gonna play something for one colorless mana random question if you had two people drafting in the same position with everything else being the same how different do you think the decks made would be um depends on the people right funny story time so i've slept four hours tonight because the package was destined to come today sometimes between 7 a.m and 5 p.m oh yeah that's that's wonderful i love that and i'm always like well i gotta be here in case i need to sign for it so I waited and waited and no package. Then my girlfriend texted me if I got the package. So I said no. And they were supposed to ring the doorbell, I might add. Well, you should have because I got a text. So I went to the door and the package was there. My girlfriend got so mad that they did not ring the doorbell, but the doorbell was broken. Wow. Wow. Well, I guess we're going to attack here. Try to hit a, grr, a black source. Do you use your sing-song speech when playing Paper Magic? Um... Sometimes? Yeah, I definitely do. I remember playing this guy. If they're going to go famine, it's it's fine. It's a one for... It's a two for two. Like, we lose two guys, we drew a card, and they lost a famine, so it breaks even. Sunny D is going to burn your throat. Okay. Why is Chris Cornell on the Ophidian? Well, it's a good question. Why don't you ever buy ice cream for your subs? I swear that we like ice cream. I, you know, that's a good point. I guess it's because if I got if I bought you guys ice cream, then I would probably be out on the street.
All right, well. You can play from the street. I don't think so, man. Okay, nothing really happened there. I guess we'll attack first. Never gonna give you up. Draw a card with the video. Never gonna play. Killer wear is good here because it can't get famined out. Boy, they, they just paid some life, I think. Oh, they deep analyses. Frank has to catch up on the family chat. Oh, God, do I? Hold on. I have to figure out what's happening in this family chat. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Why are there so many messages in here? Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, Mesmeric Fiend. Well. So let's just attack with Ophidian and Killer Whale. I want to maximize my chances of drawing a... Uh, a counter spell. Never gonna run around and desert you. Am I rickrolling you guys right now? Never gonna give you... Oh, I thought that's what you were doing earlier. When? Never gonna give... Never gonna give... Yeah, I knew they were gonna swords this guy. So we're gonna draw, try to hit a... Uh, a counter spell. Exile. Exile non-white creature. I'm going to see what we get. Let's actually discard the Night Stalker. I want to draw two here. Scrivener. Discard a card. Uh, oh, we have to discard one of the two we draw. That's interesting. Yeah, okay. That's fine. You know the rules, and so do I. Yeah, I'm just going to play this. Never going to give you up. Never going to let you down. Mm -hmm. Give you up. What is five, six, seven, eight damage? In the air, if I want. I mean, they could always, they could just, they could storm us out. Preparing to work from the street? I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I said this in the last video, but I painted these, I spray painted these Wayfarers white today. And I like the way they turned out.
Sammy, what happened? What was the uh, what was the verdict? Or were they like, "F you, too bad, buddy. Go knock on your neighbor's door if you want your things." Because that would be cold. Uh, the artifacts, they just add mana. Four, five, six mana. Okay, what do we got here? Three. Oh, you dark ritualed. I see. Well, we're at 20, so you got to storm us for 10. Hmm. Temporal Fissure for two is actually not that bad. It's obnoxious, but... Oh, isn't that cute? Where are no strangers to live? Yep, you got it. Any other guy? I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. Turn about tendrils is a little scary. Famine is also a little scary, though. And famine kills your guy and gives us Visara back. But if we take tendrils, they just get it back anyway. I'll take the famine. Well, that's pretty good. So now they have basically nothing. We get to untap a power sink and then play Scrivener to get back power sink. Okay. Sell Frank ice cream, have Hungry Howie's there, and you can pay five bucks to watch Frank draw five lands in a row with a deck with seven lands in it and 53 spells. Dunk Drunk Mike, Swole Mike can't stand by the swing with the really big hammer only to get a dings. Wow, these top decks are unreal. And so on and so on. I can't tell if they tendrils here for three. I don't think you do. Okay, so that did not do much. Is there a storm card that draws cards? Ah, uh, mine's desire, but it's rare. And it doesn't really draw cards, it just puts them into your hand. I mean, we can 100% sack with this. This Mesmeric Fiends now, right? Sure. I'm just gonna pass here. Like, we can pretty much power sync anything they do. No, because they can just pay for power sync. If we go mana war, then we're only going to have five mana up, and they would go, they would play Mesmeric Fiend with these two and then still have five mana up. So they can actually, we can only power sync for four, and they can just replay it. So it doesn't really do anything. Keeping up keeping up power sync doesn't really do anything. I would rather play mana war when, I, when we have nine mana so that we can play mana war and then just, yeah, like right now. I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. Unfortunately, this is let them go Mesmeric Fiend. Mesmeric Fiend, Turnabout, Untap, and then Tendrils. I don't think we care about that. I mean, we know three of the four cards in their hand. Unless they have a counter spell as their last card, I don't really think it's... That doesn't seem likely. We know Turnabout, Tendrils, and Mesmeric Fiend out of four cards, so... 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine out of 12 damage on board. So, so they go fiend, sure. Let's take power sink. It's the only relevant card. They play turnabout, untap their lands. So they go one, two, three, they have one, three, four, five, they'll have six mana. So hmm. Yep, I think they're doing it. Yep. Yeah, okay, so tendrils for like three, that seems fine. Yeah, that's that's just fine. Five, six, seven. And if they want to block here, you can have your famine back. I'll get my counter spell back. Actually, we probably should have attacked with this guy, too. Yep, that's pretty good. <laughs> Okay, I mean, they would have still been alive. They can block Mana War, take five, six, seven, eight. All right, so we have Mesmeric Fiend and him to Torok, both of which are good. See, this is why we have Chainer's Edict, though, because they have Mesmeric Fiend and they have, like, the stupid Owl, and both of them are very, very good against our deck because we don't have a super high power level. Is it worth getting a sink back instead of the five damage? Maybe. I mean, it's. I think it's kind of hit or miss. Like, like power sink's good, but I really wanted to just close out the game. It's one bad river. So we played island because it lets us keep a counter spell. We could have played swamp. Let's keep it him to Torok. We should have probably played Swamp just because we're playing this anyway. But if we draw him to Torok, like we can still play it on turn three. I think I think this cube, if this is a blue black cube, yeah. And it's not a cube, it's Vintage Masters, but it might as well be just a blue black dirtle cube, right? So. Bad company. To the day I die. Are you going to counterspell that? Wow, that's insane. Who's excited for Vintage Cube? Oh, me for sure. God, this is still game one. He has six minutes, we have 14. Ugh, God. He's like factor fiction? That's fascinating. Just finished watching the Drowsy Processor and the Feet video. Feet videos? Oh, yeah. Uh, some of your best work, you and. Yeah, those decks were fantastic, dude. I had a good time. If you guys haven't done so, definitely check out the Iron Iron Crag Pyromancer list. And oh wow, we just get to keep Factor Fiction in hand. Wow, that's pretty insane.
Josh, have a good night, buddy. Thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you for helping me. Uh, help me. Thank you for sponsoring this Vintage Masters draft. I mean, if they play Mesmeric Fiend in response, we factor fiction. They take one of the good cards, but they're going to do that anyway, no matter when we play factor fiction. I can untap, play Predatory Night Stalker, and kill it. Okay, it's probably Prism into Mesmeric Fiend. That guy. Trigger. Split them up. Oh, this is great. Double Scrivener. <laughs> and two spells. Oh, man, for sure. For sure. Oh, this is your split, huh? Fascinating. They have three and a half minutes to win this game. Which makes me think I might just want to take the Power Sync Chainer's Edict file. I'm interested to hear what you think of the 10184 trailer. Has it been. Oh, I haven't even seen it yet. They have five cards one, two, three, four, five lands. They have six lands next turn. We're at 20. I think I'm just taking Pal 2. I mean, Scriveners are great, but I don't have the time to get the Scrivener value. So, and now we have two sacrifice abilities. So they're probably going to take Chainer's Edict. Forces us to Predatory Night Stalker. Actually, not just take Power Sync. The new Ghostbusters trailer was fantastic. I was a huge fan. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a thing. Temporal Fissure and a Deep Analysis. All right. Well, if they were trying to storm off, I mean, they do have double Deep Analysis, so they could double Deep Analysis here, which is actually pretty insane. There's a lot of cards. Sure. Counterspell. Killer Whale. All right. 
right. I wish we weren't only drawing five drops. You're gonna do something? What are you going to do? Exile. Uh, okay. We have time. I'm not going to like just run out there with the thing. They have six cards. That's enough to storm us if they really want to. Yeah, that's fine. I think we might be dead here, but I would have to do something, I think. Okay, they're just cycling land, maybe not. Sure. We have a minute and 16 seconds to win. Okay. They did not do anything. Yeah, I guess we're just passing here. Like, they have to win in 56 seconds. We have 11 minutes on the clock, so... I think as long as we keep power sync up, we're okay. Turnabout. Okay. Oh, you're choosing my lands. Yep, that's pretty good.
Does this this doesn't do it, right? Aren't they dead? The clock says zero on it. Are they dead? <laughs> Why aren't they dead? Okay. <laughs> like, what? Like, why? <laughs> Jesus, God. <sighs> An hour long game one. Like, I just have no patience for, like, the third the third round. Literally, like, from Vintage Masters Draft to Vintage Masters Draft, the third round in a row where I'm playing Blue Black Storm, my opponent just gets to dirtle the whole time while I get to just sit here and wait for them to go off. Like, I just have no sympathy for it. I mean, I'm playing Blue Black, but, like, it's not, a, it's not really a dirtle deck. There's, like, two counter spells in it. Oh god, I love Paul Rudd so much. Oh man, Paul Rudd or... That dude is a treasure. Let's see what you got here. Wow, this hand looks aggressive. Dream Pod Druid is nuts. Nature's lore, you can get a forest. Uh, you actually don't have anything to go on the Dream Pod Druid, but it's still very good. Actually, yeah, that's fine. You can have that Dream Pod Druid. Maybe. I'll take the Noble Templar because it gives you a white source. Yep, so they played you have my hollow nature's lore. I guess we'll just play Pine Barrens. Next turn we can play Mana War. No white source. Ernum. Ernum is a solid dude. Go one, two, three, four. We'll play this guy. Okay. That guy. So we have two of the four cards in your hand. I'm um, just gonna block here actually because I think the card is more valuable than the mana war on board oh yeah hmm well that's fascinating man these scriveners have not been great yeah that Ghostbusters trailer is fire dude it's everything I've wanted out of a Ghostbusters trailer. It's all I ever wanted. Yeah, you have my hollows actually insane in the in the green deck. 
Do they attack with both? I can see them attacking with both just so I like... So I block, and then maybe I'll be tempted to flip it, but then they can like regenerate their guy. Yeah, but we're not doing that. Because next time we're just going to play Palancron, and ideally we'll draw something sick like a Vizara. We can go Palancron into Vizara. Can you imagine if that was the draw? Oh, that's actually still very good. Oh, yes. Power Sinkaru. Free 4 5 flyer like magic, like Richard Garfield intended. I also didn't mind the female Ghostbusters movie, but I know it wasn't roller seed. Like I actually, it drives me insane the number of criticism, the amount of criticism that movie got. Like, but whatever. Oh yeah, you're giving that Palancron? That's a good choice because it's gonna be flying anyway. Oh, you finally got one of those dudes to get a planes. I mean the cast is insane. Like the cast for for the for the for the Lady Ghostbusters movie was great. Benevolent bodyguard. Okay. So that guy's gone, you played your planes. So now you have El Elvish Aberration and one other card. And I want you back. Da -da -da. Ophidian. That's old Ophi. Kate McKinnon is awesome, and Kristen Wiig is my secret comedian crush. All right, so this is a three-turn clock. Palancron's a three-turn clock arena. Do one of these jobbies. Oh yeah, we're sinking that dude. X is currently two, that's enough. actually pretty good for us because now they have to block or we get to draw an extra card oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah one two three four five yeah we're just going to keep up power sync right Two, three, four, five. Big scrivs. Dink it and sink it.
You know what time it is. Dude, Urnum Jin used to be one of my favorite magic cards. It was literally my favorite creature for the longest time when I first started playing magic. Just that guy, huh? Everybody. Yeah, that's fine. Sedar Jabari. Draw a card. Yes. Demonic Tutor. Demo. Yeah, let's see what we got. Choking Tethers would be baller if that was in our deck. Oh, we have a Vasara. They're just going to tap it down. I think it might just be Mana War or... How many lines do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We can actually Mana War and keep up. Yeah, I like Mana War here. Get rid of Sabah Sadar Jabari. Because I just don't want you tapping my guys down. Thank you. Captain Hammer, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Welcome... Mick, welcome. Oh no. I got five on it. Okay. It's like I fell right into their trap. So they can go tap down a guy. We still have power sync for three, which shuts down a lot. Yeah, I think we're fine here. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so... They have one card and a, and something. They have they have Elvish Aberration and one other card. And I don't know what it is. I think this game's over. Back streets, back, all right. Shelter. <sighs> yeah, it's fine. I don't think that does anything. Okay. It didn't do anything. Alright, so an aggressive deck with lots of creatures. I think our deck is already built to beat that kind of deck, so I think we just maybe want the choking tethers. Maybe? Probably not though. Rick roll in the back of the boys. Was I was that was that what I did? I feel like I did that. I think our deck is actually fine. Tethers is decent, but like I feel like it's only good in the situation we had before. Like otherwise, we're just gonna tether them and they're gonna untap and kill us. Like you either tethers to prevent them from attacking for a turn, which means you need to live, or you tethers. I mean, it cycles, but like that doesn't make it better than like any random card in our deck necessarily. Better than ritual? What ritual? Ritual drew us like four cards that game. It's going to do it again this game.
back, straights back, Rick rolls back, all right. All forests are on the bottom. Yeah, that's a good point. I had not considered that. What if during the stream I just wore these latex gloves? Would that be weird? If it was like a latex glove stream and Frank just wore latex gloves during it? That feels weird, right? Hidden Torok. Island. I wore these earlier when I was spray painting. And it occurred to me that they should have actually been non-powdered gloves. Reminds me of my childhood at dinner with the family. Wow, that's weird. Okay, do you wear latex gloves? Are they latex or are they like nitrite? Is that the other kind? Nit nitrile? What's the what's the other kind of glove that's not a latex glove? Nitrile. Okay. I'm gonna actually play this guy because if they attack with this, we can just bounce whatever they whatever the next glove. One glove is too Michael. I agree that is too Michael Jackson. Are you giving up proctology now? Are you? Aren't you? Is that the question? Oh god, it's, I hate the powder on them. Oh, that's a good draw because we can now we can go nightscape familiario familiario. Into this beautiful boy. Draw a card. Good lord. Oh, well, fuck me, I guess. <laughs> God, there's powder all over now. I hate these gloves. I hate these gloves. Nitrile for most things. I think our surgical gloves are kind of latex that's sterilized. And we actually looked at what our surgical gloves are. Interesting. Well, I guess we're not getting in there after all. Because of arrogant worm. This is really arrogant. I was really hoping I would get in there with this Ophidian. If you had to, would you rather give a prostate exam to... Okay, well, that's not an honest question that I'm going to answer. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Well, I'm going to take seven here, but then we're going to put that dude on the tippity top. We get another Man of War. Predatory Night Stalker is interesting. Yeah, I guess we'll just pass here. I don't want them to draw the arrogant worm again this turn. So. Sorry, I had to step away for a moment. Are you talking about prostates? If so, I'm back in. Yikes. Yikes. Oh, God. What if they have shelter? Fuck. This is going to be disgusting if they have shelter. I want to vomit because you have shelter. It's okay. 
They didn't have a shelter. What's what's it gonna be? Uh yeah, let's use that ability. I'm going to say yes. Every day we stray further from God's light. You ain't kidding. You ain't kidding. God, I'd love to just crack in there with this Ophidian, but, well, that ain't happening. So next time they just have to pay the iron price for that arrogant worm, right? You didn't speak the best play for them into existence. Yeah, I don't know. I was expecting that shelter too. I don't get it either. Is this dude getting in here? Wow, that's aggressive. God, you have my hollow is such a beating, dude. On the bright side, most of our removal is either sacrifice or bounce. So it's like... Yep, there's your boy. Hmm. Oh, got a discount. Discounted. Now I'm feeling okay about our situation. Well, now I'm feeling worse about our situation. So what do they have? 7, 11, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 10 power. We can't even adequately block all of his fat idiots. Wow, we really need to... Sure. And we're going to take five here. Yep. Chainer's Edict one time. I don't even think that's going to do it, really. Yep, that's the end. Oh, wait. Actually, we got a draw. All right, let's go to the next game. Scrivener would have been great. Wow, four Scrivener repel this guy. Oh, wow. One more turn. Could we have survived? Probably. Jeez. Q of Counterspell? Yeah, I mean, we didn't have much coming after that, though. Sorcerer, Scouting Haven. Temporal Fissure just might be decent here. Maybe Ritual is too cute. Buzzard, when it dies, all creatures get negative one, negative one until end of turn. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, four, five, six, yeah, this is eight, nine, sure. Okay, I'll keep it. We could put Palin Crown on the bottom, I guess. It's funny when people call the whale from Free Willy Free Willy as if Free Willy is his name. When that's like the name of the movie and the whale is clearly just named Willie. 
Yeah, people do that all the time. They're like, oh man, your mom is so fat. She looks like Free Willy. And it's like, but that's not the, the, the whale's name isn't Free Willy. Like, that's just, that's not how that works. I'm going to go Nightscape familiar here. Oh, old Frederick Willie, huh? Hold on, I have to. Um, yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> That's fine. Sure. Ooh. Root walla. No root wall. Okay. <laughs> Some MTG joshing for you all. Enjoy. No. Josh left. He's not here anymore. Ooh, I like a good demo. Alright, let's hit let's hit your goods. Let's hit your goodie boys. Dream Pod and Imperial Armor. Well, that's a combo. <laughs> Must be nice. Oh, Jesus. Pretty sure there's nothing in our deck that can get us out of this, except maybe a Viscera and two... A Visara and, like, two... Two lands off the top. It's a yikes for me, dog. problem is if we draw lands we're probably dead if we draw spells we're not getting any closer to casting bizarre here <laughs> it's actually not the worst
another spell would be great, but what can you do? Four, five, six, seven. So we actually have to block a mongrel here. I don't know, man. This is pretty bad. I can't imagine a situation where we win this game, so. They do have to accidentally concede. Or they're like, hey man, I feel bad for drawing so well. I'm gonna just scoop to you. They didn't play... Why didn't they play Wild Mongrel? really confused I guess they want to keep up shelter but like they had four mana yeah they're just gonna pay shelter it's sure congratulations all right let's try to two one here Un unlike everything else I have no idea what I just said. What I don't know what that means. That's true. We don't know it'll work until we try. I cannot argue with that. I snap kept this guy's. Oh, we're playing against old, the ODB, Old Dirty Balthor. Oh, wow. Turn three factor fiction. That's baller status. Baby, I hear the blues are calling. Toss salads and scrambled eggs. Maybe I seem a bit confused. Visara, I've got you pegged. But I don't know what to do with all of that. Do, 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 do. We're passing again. Bing, bing. Whoa, they just have sixth. Good lord. Hmm. I mean, I'll just take a pile one, right? Two lands and a scrivener?
Yep, double factor fiction seems okay. Yeah, I'll use that ability. Shoot, I will. It's like we drew the secret pile that had four cards in it. I'm gonna just tap my dude. Okay. I mean, they're gonna play a swamp and they're gonna storm us out, so I'm not really. <sighs> I'm not super thrilled about. It. Just mono islands, high tide. Is it mono blue? Is it mono blue storm? Nope. This guy. Drop that him on them. Why did I capitalize that? I don't know, my dude. They made up a new up two cards in the trash can now. Wow, double temporal fissure. <laughs> I guess we're storming, guys. I guess four out of six matches have been storm. Five out of six matches have been blue decks, so. Here for a good time, not a long time. Sure. Give me more cards, my dude. Oh, yes. Look at them all. Look at their, look at their pretty little faces. Oh, you just win the game. <laughs> okay. Oh, EOT Factor Fiction, good game. Wow, it's true. It's true, but blue is the best color in Magic. That's true. But that doesn't mean I want everybody to play it. I just want to be able to play it myself. I'm just going to submit here. Oh, I can definitely blame them for wanting to play it. It is mine. You did not get to play. Katie, when are we watching more Breaking Bad? I'm jonesing, okay? I'm jonesing. I'm having a jones. I have tomorrow off, so tomorrow? I thought I was going to do something tomorrow. I mean, like, it, Mike's off, so I'm probably going to stream some with him. But, yeah, if you have... Whenever you have time, is fine with me. So if we discard seven cards over the course of a game, we can just win with this guy? I'll pass. Okay, what time is your thing tonight? time is your little your little pizza fest <laughs> i'm back are we two two or three three on storm opponents uh two out of three I'm probably going to demo here, as the kids say. They missed a land drop, too. Jeez. Are you going to counter my demo? Nah, you counter what I get. But you don't know what I get. I think it's just factor fiction. Cards are real good. Supposedly in 20 minutes, but they may have moved it to 7.30, but I'm hungry, so if they, if they could not, that'd be great. Hey, we're going to have to postpone. Uh, if you could not do that, I'd appreciate it. I'm going to power sync this guy for Oon. Pay one. You don't want to? Okay. Too bad. Oh, they didn't attack either? Eh. 
If I discard my whole hand to this guy, do they take 20? I want to play this now so I can hit a land drop. They have five cards in hand. I'll deal with it. What format is this? This is Vintage Masters Drafts. Alright, now you attack. Were they so tilted that I countered their Kenai even with Power Sync for one that they were like, I can't even attack. Oh, man. They always have six, so it's like I, I know exactly that I'm getting things. Hmm. I got a five on it. I'll actually choose Pile 1. I don't think I care about Chainer's Edict, and Chainer's Edict going to the graveyard is just better for me anyway, so. Oh my god, there's so many phones going off in my general vicinity. Did I say iPhones? I meant, I meant regular phones. I don't know what I'm saying right now. Yeah, it's just Avon Pass. Come on, Swinny boy, you know what's up. So 7.30 would be like 9.30? Yikes, that's, just, that's not ideal. I don't care about that. I'm actually going to put it on top. Put it on the top. Hold on. Okay. I don't want to play a five drop. I want to keep this up. So I guess we're just passing here. I don't really want to trade here. I guess we could actually repel the stupid idiot bird. Bird on top. Bird, 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 bird on top. Yep, that's fine. A bird on the top is worth two in the hand, actually. That's how it works, so... It's funny you mention that. Hey, predatory night stalker. So far they haven't like countered anything. What about the bush though? What bush? What are you talking about? A bird on the top is also worth two in the bush. What is this? What is this? Temporal fissure? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll allow it. What's in the guitar case? My guitar. Oh, wow, they're tapped out, so we can go Palancron into, like, Killer Whale. Keep up Counterspell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, well, that's a lot of damage.
And we got a Chainer's Edict in the yard. And we got nine mana, so we could go Chainer's Edict Counterspell. I think it's chain Choking Tether's our board. If we just counter this, we win, right? Let's find out. So they block here and they take nine. Yeah, that's game. Okay. You got it. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out at minitraders.com. You can use the promo code and link in the description to get 20% off the first three months of any subscription. And they have a pretty sweet subscription service that lets you rent physical paper cards or digital Magic Online cards. You can also check out Minitraders. Nope, that's what I said. Coolstuffing.com every Wednesday. You can use promo code FRANK5 to get 5% off your purchase. Check out patreon.com slash FRANKLAPORE. One or two dollars a month is a great way to support the channel. And you can also subscribe or follow on Twitch. And if you're on YouTube, slam those like and subscribe buttons. I totally forgot what it was. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.